Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to share some of my insight about car camping. I know I haven't been doing it for long. I feel like when you're in the process of learning something, that's when it's all fresh on your mind. I'm like in the process of learning how to sleep in the car, how to cook food while I'm in the car, or how to find safe places to sleep. And I kind of just want to go over all those aspects of car camping with you guys. But first, I say we hit the beach. First thing I want to show you guys is how I cook breakfast slash any food in the morning especially. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into GoPro mode. Get that out of the sun and we'll try to keep that out of the sun as much as we can. So I'm going to close this. Sorry for the wind, but yeah. That's how you make breakfast. Right now, let's just enjoy this sandwich. Cheers. Oh my gosh. This might be top five egg sandwiches I've ever made. But toasting your bread in the skillet really makes a difference. Ah, that was so good. Back to GoPro mode. Now I'm gonna go into Walmart. I'm gonna grab some cleaning supplies. I'm in here during editing and the clip of me walking into Walmart actually got deleted somehow. I just went into Walmart, bought soap and a scrubby so I could clean my dishes. I was gonna tell you guys, I'm going to Planet Fitness to shower and I think that's the best place to shower and also get a workout while you're on the road. Their minimum is 10 bucks a month and you can use every single location in the entire US. And some of them are 24 hours, so maybe you could even sleep in the parking lot too. But yeah, back to the video. All right, guys, before the shower, that's better. Now I'm gonna show you all the supplies you need. This is my checklist. Car camping essentials for beginners. First thing we're gonna start off with is a cooler. This one I keep my ice in and all my cold stuff. I have another cooler back here that I keep my dry stuff in. So I have two coolers, but first thing is gonna be a cooler. Second thing is gonna be cooking supplies. So right here, I have a Coleman butane one burner camp stove. This thing is great. This would be optional if you want to be cooking. I know people that car camp and don't cook their own food. They just buy fast food and stuff like that. I think it's cheaper if you buy your own food and cook your own food. So going along with the propane burner is going to be this table right here. I need something to cook on. So the table goes right there perfectly with it. I also need something to sit down on. So the chair is also mixed in with cooking supplies, pot, pan, soap, scrubby, plate, pot, pan, you know, cooking supplies and cleaning supplies for the cooking supplies. Next most important thing of importance, sleeping bag, blanket, whatever you need. If it's cold, you need a big sleeping bag. If it's warm, you'll need a thin blanket. Privacy screen, one for the front and back windows. And these are privacy shields for the windows in the car all around. So that is gonna keep you safe. Next is my shower bag. So I have everything in here from like soaps, toothpaste, floss, all that type of stuff. The shower bag just basically goes with me when I go to shower and get ready for the day, either morning or at night. This is for me specific. This is just my recording bag. So I have all my camera equipment in here. A big given is obviously water. Always have 
an extra water jug. You know, once I finish this water jug, it could be used for whatever. It could be a pee jug for all we know. I haven't had to use a pee jug yet though. This should be a given, but your clothing. I brought a decent amount of clothes. I brought like seven different outfits. So that was the beginner car camping checklist. If it was helpful to you guys, make sure you drop a like. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.